y'all should go deck you back with another video and today as you can see from the title i'm going to be doing some mini twists on my hair this look right here so if you would like to see how i achieve this protective style right here please stay tuned because we are about to get right into it so i'm starting on freshly washed hair as we always do and i washed with camille rose deep conditioned with shea moisture and my leave-in is as i am and i'm applying the cocoa cream curl enhancing moist butter for my mini twists by Carol Sauter. Now it's already in my hair because I did want it to sort of dry a little bit before I went in and started twisting my hair. So I'm gonna start in the back sections and then I will show you guys what I'm doing when I get to the front. I think I'm gonna free part, like I'm just gonna part with my fingers because I don't really care how the parts look. I'll make sure they're neat in the front but in the back I'm not really pressed about it because this is more of a natural hairstyle so it doesn't have to be perfect so I am gonna go ahead and start in the back and then I will be back to you guys when I am in the front so you guys can see what I am doing okay so it's been about 30 minutes and I've done the back section of my hair I'll show you guys they're really they're really really small I did want these to be mini 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 twists so they are small but this took me about 30 minutes if that and then I went ahead and gave myself two side parts and a middle part just so that my styles can be versatile if I decide which side I um, want to put the part on. I am using the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream and I'm going in with the wet with the wet line. With Eco Styler, I haven't used this in a while. I just decided to go ahead and use this just because I wanted to um, and so far I'm getting great results. So I'm going to go ahead and do these sections. This is what I've done so far. My curls are, I mean, my twists are very, 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 very tight and very moisturized. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with this section right here. I'm just taking my comb, my rat tail comb, and I'm just going to part. I'm gonna part and make a line. Here for a row of twisting. And like I said, I am making sure these parts look nice because this is the front of my hair and I don't want to look busted. It's taking me about 50 minutes to do the back section and this um, this section over here and then I'm just gonna do this section so after I part it I just detangle a little bit more and I take a section now I did see some girls like plaiting their twist down in the front and then braiding it I mean and then twisting it but I ain't doing all that <laughs> these aren't gonna be in for a week so Take some gel, put it on my roots, and slick it down. And then I'm just going to literally two strand twist my hair. Make sure it's tight at the root. I don't know how this style takes people like four and five hours to do. Like, maybe it's just me. Maybe I move fast, but this literally takes me an hour. <laughs> if that. 
Okay, then I just take another section. Like I said, these are mini, so my sections are pretty small. Take some gel, put it on my edge, my roots, and smooth it down. And then just continue to twist. And then I do this all over. And then when I get to the ends, I simply just twirl it around my finger. So I just twist all the way down and twirl it and then I just twirl the entire twist. And that's pretty much it. And then I just keep going. And as you can see, it is tight on my root. Well, you probably can't see it because it's wet right now. But it is tight up against my root, so I don't need to plait. I just, I feel like that's secure enough for me. If you are the type that needs extra security, then just do that. Okay, you guys, so I have put all of the twists in my hair. Um, my hair is still very wet. It's still very wet, so I do expect these to shrink some more and um, become a little bit fuller. They are looking a little thin right now, but I'm not surprised because my hair is wet. But this is how it's looking right now. This style took me 60 minutes to do. I'm going to put some Cream of Nature Style and Shine Foaming Mousse on my twist so that it will lay. Why the heck is this coming out like that? It will lay and dry flat. I don't know why this is coming out like a liquid. Oh, I am going to tie these down just so that they can lay flat. And I'm also going to apply some oil to my scalp because my scalp is a little dry and it is cold outside. So I want to make sure I'm taking care of my scalp, but I'm not adding oil to my hair because my hair is already moisturized with the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Creams. Okay, so I've oiled my scalp and I've put the Cream of Nature setting and the Style and Shine foaming mousse on my hair. And I'm just going to let this sit until it's time for me to go. I'm going to get dressed, get ready to go. And then I will either see you guys when I get back or see you guys before I leave. But you will see my hair dry and styled before this video is over. So fret not because in the next clip you shall see me slay the day with these mini twists. Side note, I did do this style before 
and I'll insert clips. I, I when I did this out the first time, I blow dried my hair, so it was like stretched. Um, but I didn't like the way that that one looked because it was like stringy and didn't give naturally juicy curls. It gave. So, I uh, wanted to try it again, but I wanted to try it without stretching my hair. And this is um, a pretty good length in my opinion. Okay you guys, so this is the final result of my mini twist. I really like how these ones turned out. Initially when I did this, a while ago I blow dried my hair so it was a lot more stringy and a lot less natural looking it honestly looked like damaged hair <laughs> but this time I didn't blow dry my hair and my twists look really juicy really full and the ends of my hair are not stringy as you can see they're coiled look at look at the coils you guys the coils are there the curls are moisturized Everything is very moisturized. Now this is actually day one hair because yesterday I went out and my hair was um, still a little bit damp. So I literally put a headband on just like this and wore my hair like this, um, but it was black. And then today I did the same thing. So my hair did kind of set like this because I've worn it like this two days in a row, but I have not stretched my twists at all because I kind of like the way they look. Um, like this but this is how I've been wearing them thus far I'm gonna take the headband off so you guys can see like I said my hair did sort of set back because of the headband but I'm gonna try to shake it a loose a little bit so you guys can get a little bit more of a fuller picture they're still set I do plan on wearing my hair in different styles I might do like a ponytail up here like this or a bun like that something just super cute and simple but like I said um this is to just get my hair out of the way and this is seen as a protective style as well because your hair is away and protected and moisturized all in the same like I said it took me about 45 minutes to do if that um I don't know how people sit and do this for four hours even if your hair was longer like my hair is it comes down to the top of my chest but even if your hair was longer than that I still don't see how it would take four hours but I mean maybe I just move fast I don't know but I really like the results of this like I said oh this will be cute too so yeah I am going to insert clips of how it turned out the first time I did it so you guys can see compare and contrast and you can let me know in the comments which way you like better but I personally like this way better because it's more of a natural look. Now this does, these twists right here look like they're not twisted. But I have different textures and curl patterns in my hair. So this is actually twisted. Like as you can see from the top, it's twisted. And then as it comes down, my curl loosens up. And the same with these in the front. They're twisted at the top. And then my curls loosen up because as it comes down, the shaft of my hair is looser than the back of my hair.
also wear hats with this too. Because your hair is flat. You can also throw your headband wig on over this. Hello, can I get a... <laughs> okay. <laughs> that blessed me. Can I get a hello? If you haven't seen my headband wig video, check that out. You can throw your headband wig on over this. So yeah, those are pretty much those are pretty much the styles that I would do with this hairstyle because low tension, low maintenance, easy, you know. Overall, 10 out of 10 recommend this hairstyle. Super easy, super beginner friendly, and very manageable when it comes to waking up and just doing your hair. I literally do my edges and figure out how I want to style the twist and I go about my day. Like I don't have to worry about picking or fluffing or stretching. Now you could stretch this, but I don't really care for the length of this style to be honest so I'm not really caring to stretch it but you could stretch it if that's what you want to do make sure you guys uh, tune into my other videos if you haven't seen those because they are popping there and we have a good time if you like this video please be sure to give me a like a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure you guys stay tuned for more videos that's pretty much it I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys